pattern going on here with my picking. It's, it's consistent. It's just that he's starting on one string and using a group of four and then doing a different string. But the grouping and the strumming is quite similar with each part. So walking into the C chord. So this, in the beginning of the song, that's coming in from the invisible measure before the song starts. This would be beat one. Dun, dun, dun. Da, dun, dun, dun. Da, dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. And then so you see at the end here, this end becomes this prequel here, if you will, or the, it's this introduction before the first beat of the C. Once you've gone through it the very first time, that the, is the very last part of the fourth measure here, okay? So once again, five, five, five. And now pay attention to the way I'm picking this. I think it helps uh, muscle memory to use the same pattern every time. Right? You could just, you know, down, 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 up, down, whatever, whatever. But I think it will help to make this a better guitar lesson. Really, actually, what it's about. I'm using the song as a template. Um, yes, I'm using some Leonard Skinner copyrighted material to go around and bend around and use it as a way to educate you on how to play the god dang guitar. <laughs> all right, and I don't think these guys mind. I think that they'd be honored to do so. Um, that I that I'm passing the torch, so to speak. All right. Now on the C, walk well, into it. I'm doing down, down, down. Then I go. Up. My second string, three strings up again. And I just hit that. So you can notice it follows this. Five, three, four, five. That three, four, five is me. Up, up, up. And then same again here. Up, up, up. Down. So down, down, down. Up, up, up. Up, 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 down. <laughs> Sounds funny, but that's the pattern you'll be doing. Down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 up. I don't think I ever said that like that on a video. That's funny. I might make a short out of that one. Down, boop, 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 boop. That's, that's, too, that's too bad. sound so individual notes will always cut through the mix or become stand out ish without having to raise your volume treble will stand out and act like volume without raising volume it's just that that frequency is heard above the other ones it's just how it works so this treble pickup or the lead pickup even the natural quality of the strings not electrified you hear that's really trebly sounding high pitch like high uh high treble sound, and this is more, more bassy. So where this pickup is coming from, that's my bassy pickup, there's my treble pickup. So usually for the chords and stuff, and whenever there's vocals, usually you keep more bassy sound so that the vocalist can stand out. Then when you're the guitar soloist or whatever, it's good to put that down and add treble to the mix. They have pedals for that, you can step on a boost pedal or whatever, but 
they designed this as a control center and it is complete. If you really know what you're doing on a guitar and it's and how it functions and how to um, use your volumes against the amp volume, you know, the amp volume should be loud and your volumes here shouldn't be turned all the way up. They should be halfway. So when I want gain, all I have to do is turn my volume forward. So, uh, you know, they're intended to not have to have a thousand pedals. It brings ease and it's convenient. So that's why I use them and that's why everybody does. But still in, in training and in coaching and in learning, you know, and teaching, I, I try to open all the doors so that you see where everything's coming from. We take the shortcuts when we need to, but for learning, it's good to know where this stuff's coming from. All right, so it's free guitar players and Leonard Skinner. I, I'm sure I hear an acoustic in the background the whole time, you know. Oh. So anyway, when I go to that lead sound, you know, the acoustic sound, I'm leaving it on my, on my neck pickup. Okay, this is very important information. Playing the right notes is only one part of playing the song. You know, making the right voice if you don't have the right voice and you're playing it exactly right, you can sound like a completely different song. It's that important, okay? Um, so for the over the vocals, you don't want to be too trebly. And then when the vocals are done, you hear the song starts building up, like, you know, it builds power the whole time. It starts off nice and slow and acoustic, and as it goes, da 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 they're turning their volumes up a little bit, turning their gain up a little bit, adding some treble, and then these riffs start coming in, which I adore. <laughs> chords in with that. on so loud with gain on but when you turn your volume off yes. it cuts the effects off first before you lose all your volume so that's not the sound I need for that acoustic part so I turn it so I mean, but then when I want to come in being that I'm the only guitar player doing it now if there's three guys whatever you set your way up but if, if you're going to be in a one guitar play band one guitar uh, band, you know, you're going to try to incorporate yeah, these different parts throughout the song, whichever you would think would be prominent. The whole time he's doing this, you know, so probably a good point, uh, part to take over the other guy's playing would be when it changes to that. Because then, you know, you've already been doing the other riff that's stuck in their head, and then they'll kind of still hear that in the background, you know, and the bass is still going, so. All right, I think you got a good start on this. I have a beginner's video for this one or two maybe, and I'll put the links for that in the beginning of this in case whoever's watching this, if this is over your head, there's uh, easier ways to start doing this song. This just makes for a fantastic guitar lesson. There are thousands of songs that use this kind of picking pattern style um, and using this as a guitar lesson is the real value here. The song is secondary. Uh, the more you fool around with this video, you'll see that come to life. I'm Wayne Sorbelli, my Key West Guitar Store. Uh, if you want to support, you know what to do. Smash that like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, and share it with your family and friends. I appreciate you. Thank you very much.